Hey everyone, Qatar here and finally welcome to another video. Firstly, I would like to thank everyone here for helping me get past 500 subscribers. A special shout out to Corey, his channel is in the description. Thank you so much for promoting my channel. So anyways, let's get to it. The winner for the previous video's 5000 Artix Points giveaway is new. I will be commenting on your message, however I don't think YouTube has a private message function anymore, so please do send me a Twitter DM and confirm it underneath my response to you. I would just like to say that the first part of the video will be a weapon tutorial based on the new set using Nalgath or Milton style, or a similar style of his line work and shading, whilst the second part of the video will be a full set preview. More details will be stated in the description below. Like the previous tutorial, there will be parts which have been sped up as it's just me shading. However, I'll give a bit of background talk on some random stuff, I guess. Now feel free to sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. First things first, a bit of background on the weapon and set itself. The set is based on Arthurian history, or should I say British folklore. Uh, this weapon in particular was inspired by Excalibur, and I was inspired by the Netflix film Cursed. It's quite interesting. One biggest tip I have when it comes to making weapons, in particular double-edged blades, handles, hilts, or any similar assets, would be to mirror your image or symbol. This can be done by taking, for example, a rectangle and a, uh, converting it into a symbol. Once you've done that, copy and paste it in place. You then flip it and it should appear right next to it. As you can see, whatever you do on one side will be reflected on the other. Hence this mirror effect. Another tip which I would like to show you would be on how to create back clothes for weapons. For the ease of making the item color custom and speed in weapon making, what I tend to do would be to copy the blade symbol and place it onto another layer. I then take the symbol and break it right down. I change it into a flat color, convert it into a different symbol, make it bigger if necessary and add the glow effect. Often the positioning of this is behind the main blade. Anyways, I'll speed it up a bit. As some of you may or may not know, I was Revontheus, Nalgatha's apprentice, or in a more professional context, Milton's assistant. I used to work on AQ Worlds back in the Dage vs Nalgath War, Oversoul, and on Epic Duel. I've had personal experiences and feedback from Nalgath or Milton himself on his style of shading and lining. Back when I was on Oversoul, I had to follow a strict process on replicating his style of work. I truly believe that nation sets should in some way follow this rule too as he was the original creator of this faction and in particular the original AQ World style. I'm quite open to different um, AQ World styles and to be honest, prefer some newer styles over the old ones. But nation sets or items are something which in my opinion should in some ways retain certain elements. It's like how you don't drastically change the art style of Sonic by adding teeth, changing the models of Toy Story or any other prominent pieces of art and design. However, you can improve and update certain areas of shading styles like how Riot did for League of Legends. Replicating a style to its fullest is a very important skill to have, especially if you're aiming to land a job or a career in bigger gaming companies.
One very useful tip when it comes into shading Nagath items would be that he uses one base, one to two dark shades, and one to two highlights. However, the execution of this shading style has a prominent methodology. A key step into attaining this style would be, in most cases, the highlight. Um, the highlight will appear above the dark shading, and by that I mean that the highlighted line above the dark area which you can see later. Uh, this highlight is not big in any ways, but I would say medium or thin in some aspects. I would often get feedback from Milton to thin or taper my lines, so tapering um, is it's a process of making the end of the highlights thin. Also, not everything has to be highlighted. On certain angles, especially in the armor, you don't necessarily have to have the highlight over the shade. Think dynamically in a more three-dimensional perspective. Another thing which Milton does a lot would be to use duplicated symbols. Uh, for example here, as I make the hilt wrap, I create one piece of the wrap, convert it into a symbol, and replicate it below. This is a very efficient process as it saves you uh, from spending hours on shading individual pieces. Initially, I didn't really want to make a fiendish skull or a uh, skullish face, but I thought it would be cool and edgy. Um, as usual, not all things will work out the way you would like, so don't hold back on making changes. Oh, uh, one last tip about Nalgatha's style would be his line art. When you think of Nation, you might think spiky, um, sharp edges. However, if you notice, Nalgatha's work is unique in a way where just by looking at his concept work at a glance, you'll definitely know that it's him. Nalgath uses a mix of curved and straight lines. It's perfectly balanced, like all things should be. However, there are certain parts of exaggeration in some areas. This is easier to see with his armors than his weapons. Even though his line art is exaggerated, there are still forms which are true to anatomy. Anyways, thank you if you watched till this far, now let's move on to the set preview. There was a lot of animation and repetitive color custom work to do and time was a little bit limited, so th therefore, you know, the delay in this video. Um, however, I enjoyed doing this set and I hope you like it too.
guys. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like, and comment below if you have future suggestions for my channel and upcoming videos. I will be doing more giveaways in the future, and probably it's gonna be uh, 10,000 Rx points uh, when I reach 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Bye.